Hi, is this Ken Schilling with Rudy's Barbecue? Yeah, this is Ken. How may I help you? Hi, Ken. I'm the corporate marketing manager for the Frisco Ref Riders, and my name is Keith Duncan. I have an idea that I think you'll be interested in. It's going to take me 10 minutes to explain. Could we get together for 10 minutes next week? I'll be in your area around Saturday, June 29th with Dr. Pepper. Can I stop by at 1.30? Yeah, what's your idea? It'll only take me 10 minutes to explain. If I'm in there, if I'm in there longer, it's because you asked me to stay. Can you just tell me over the phone? I'd like to tell you over the phone, but I really want to show you. It'll only take me 10 minutes. I want to show you the success other companies have had with us, which increases their sales. I guarantee you it'll only take 10 minutes. It's 1.30 next Saturday, okay? I'm not really interested. Well, that's why I called you. Many of the people I've talked to were interested at first, but I explained how we could help increase their sales by over 10%. They were happy to meet up after that. I'm still not interested. You're probably not interested because what I'm saying sounds crazy. Well, what if it isn't? What if we can really help you increase your sales by 10% over the next six months? It's only going to cost you 10 minutes, and I'll even stop. I'll, br I'll even bring a stopwatch into the room. How about 1.30 next Saturday? Uh, you should see our director of sales. I definitely do plan on meeting with your director of sales, but I have found that in matters of a proven method of increasing sales by 10%, other, other CEOs appreciated seeing me at first. Could we meet next Saturday? I'm meeting with the CEO of Dr. Pepper in the morning and can stop by right after. I need to see it in writing first. Okay, I can appreciate that. Normally I'd be happy to, but I have something I need to show you. I want to show you what a number of other executives have been using. It's only going to take 10 minutes and you can judge for yourself. Is uh, 1.30 next Saturday still okay? I'm not really a baseball fan. Okay, I get that as well. But I have an idea that would center on profit, not baseball. You don't have to be a baseball fan to like this. So, Saturday at 1.30? Look, I really don't have the time. What time do you start the day at? Uh, around 7. Well, how about I be on your doorstep at 7 a.m. next Saturday, before you get started? I'll even bring the coffee. Do you prefer black coffee or cream and sugar? I'll be there no longer than 10 minutes unless you ask me to stay longer. I don't think I'm interested. Well, Pres Preston Atkinson of Whataburger wasn't interested either. But after we met, he liked some of the truly unique ideas that we discussed. I value your time, and I wouldn't be in your office more than 10 minutes. My feeling is that you would appreciate that we did get together. So is next Saturday at 1.30 still okay? Uh, call me next week, and I'll see what my schedule looks like. Perfect. I have my schedule on me. Want me to schedule a time right now? Is 1.30 next Saturday still good for you? Uh, your team isn't very good. I can uh, also understand how you feel with that. We haven't been as good as we'd like. That'll change. But uh, what I want to meet with you about is that even under current conditions, we have a unique idea how we can increase your sales by 10% over a six-month period. Can you set a time to meet? Okay. Next Saturday at 3 p.m. work? Terrific. You're really going to like what I have to show you. I have you down for next Saturday at 3 p.m. Could I have your email address to send you a uh, confirmation? Perfect. Yeah. Thank you.